y'all welcome back to my channel if you're new thank you so much for joining me and welcome and if you're not welcome back so today's video I just finished this wash and go and I have been asked this a few times how I stretch and fluff my natural hair so today I'm going to be showing you guys how I fluff and stretch my wash and go and take it from this to this so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. But before we do, please be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification so you won't miss out on any of my uploads. And without further ado, let's jump to this video. All right, so like I said, I just finished my wash and go. It has been about an hour since I finished. It's um, still pretty damp. So I'm just gonna show you guys how I fluff and stretch my hair to get it big and fluffy and nice and pretty because this ain't cute, you know, this. This ain't it. I don't have a under dryer. I just have my handheld um, blow dryer and we're just gonna work with that. Uh, you don't need a overhead dryer for this portion. You don't need it at all. I used to feel like I needed one, but I think I have nailed down the perfect technique in order to just use a blow dryer to fluff and get my wash and goes lit, so yeah. So what we're gonna do first, I'm gonna section off my hair. Now you wanna be very gentle with these curls because they're pretty much set and you don't wanna like play with them too much because then that'll make it super frizzy. Yes, for my fluffing technique, I do use a blow dryer. So if you are a person who tries to stay away from heat, I don't know what to tell you. This may not be the video for you. However, my natural hairstylist who is a natural hair musician uses a blow dryer on me she also uses an under blow dryer so some heat is okay for your hair but hey i'm not here to tell you what to do i'm just you know here to advise that's it that's all i'm gonna basically blow dry this section all right so i'm gonna start off by blow drying this individual section on medium high heat making sure that the majority of the section is dry from root to end. You wanna make sure that your hair is dry before you start stretching and fluffing your hair. That's major key. You never wanna fluff your hair while it's still wet. It ain't the move, sis. I promise you, I've tried it. Then I'm gonna take this attachment piece that came with my blow dryer and I'm just going to focus this on my roots and basically stretch and elongate my roots. I don't take it too far down because I don't want the ends of my hair to change. Our main focus is to stretch the roots and you're basically elongating your roots but keeping the curls at the end. And I'm just gonna do that to each section making sure that the roots are stretched and elongated now my hair in the front is a lot tighter so I do focus the blow dryer in the front and I basically repeat the same steps making sure that I break the cast of my bang and stretch the roots so that my bang stretches more y'all know I got a big forehead and I do not like that super tight bang that stops in the middle of my forehead Mm -mm. stretch it out stretch it out sis now that i'm pretty much done i just evaluate my hair and see what areas need to be stretched and longer and if it does i just go back and stretch those specific areas and y'all i really love this technique because it just makes my hair feel less clumped and more fluffy and big and voluminous and pretty and uh i just love it Next, I'm gonna just take a little bit of this niche oil to kind of break up the cast. But really, the blow dry situation really breaks up my cast. All right, so this is what we're looking like pretty much after. Now I'm gonna take my Y2 comb. Typically, I would take a pick, but I can't find mine, so I'm going to Begin to pick at the roots. This is gonna give you that volume that you like. I really just like, I like volume, so baby, I get up in there, okay? 
okay all right y'all so this is what i do um in order to stretch my wash and go and just get it fluffy and real just big and voluminous typically i would sit with my blow dryer and make this a lot bigger but i feel like this is a good stopping point for right now just to give you guys the gist of what i do in order to stretch and fluff my wash and go it's very fluffy as you guys can see it moves it's very lightweight and with the uh, mixture of blow drying and the oil i don't really have much of a cast i still have a small enough cast to where i'm okay with going outside i feel confident going outside in the humidity and knowing that my hair is still going to last and yeah but yeah this is basically what i do if you guys have any questions please be sure to drop them in the comment section if you found this video helpful please be sure to thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video